Hey yo, what's going on boys? Mike here back with another video. So for today guys, I'll be doing a beginner's guide and in this video, I'll be showing you how to gain your first star, how to gain cash, and how to gain experience. Now, keep in mind, I do show you a farming method and I do show you how to do quests and also pretty much what to do when you're first starting out because some players may not know what to do or where to go and hopefully I answer that. Now in case your question isn't answered in this video, be sure you guys comment that down below. I'm sure other players will respond to it and also myself. Now with that being said, if you're looking for a large group to play with, like what you're seeing on the screen here, you could join the Timberwolves down below. It's a faction community and we do weekly events and it can also help you out with grinding because I understand that sometimes it's the locations and the compounds are too hard to raid by yourself. So it's a big, large community of BRM5 players if you're looking to play. That being said, hopefully you enjoy the video. All right, to start off, you want to head over to your loadout. Now, keep in mind, you do only have $2,000 and zero stars you start off with when you're fresh. Now, with the loadout, this is where you can customize your character, put on new uniforms, put on backpacks, helmets, whatever you want, like mask, and also, of course, customizing your weapons and changing them. Now, you could create four loadouts if you'd like, but I'd recommend just sticking to two. Now, if you do want to create new loadouts, you just press this plus sign and then you press that. And then you could rename it. So let's just say PvP loadout here. And then you put this one as the open world. So player reverse environment. So I wouldn't even bother touching any of the uniforms or any of the vests because it's all customization and it's all aesthetics. Now, what that means is it has no effect into how you battle enemies. So what you want to focus on right now when you're first new is getting enough money to buy new weapons and to also buy vehicles like aircrafts, strikers different ways of transportation first thing you want to do is purchase the m4a1 the m4a1 is the best beginner's weapon in my opinion i've used this on many accounts and a lot of people have also recommended the m4a1 and overall damage i would agree that it's it's very underrated honestly you could even be using this when you're higher in the stars and still be putting up some good work so we're gonna go ahead and purchase the m4a1 and then we're gonna equip that now how this works is you have private servers and you have ronograd this is a public server then you have your own private server i would recommend going into a private server if you don't want to be grinding by yourself then of course go into a public server but if you want to just enjoy the game by yourself and get to know it and use that learning curve go into that private server you're gonna have so much fun you have 25 v 25 5v5 and 2v2 i would stay away from pvp for now Focus on open world, understand the game a bit, and then you could play some PvP later on. To invite people, you press at the bottom left. Now, of course, I have no friends on this account, so they're not going to show on the side here. This is where uh, it would show, and then you just press invite. But anyways, just press launch for free private server, and you should be good to go. That same area where I showed you, that's also where you go to post any VIP servers. There's usually a code and you just press join private server after you're done pasting. So first thing you want to do is head over to the forward operating base. This is the main base. This is where all players spawn at pretty much when they start out. And this is headquarters. And you see your little guy over here holding the M4A1. Like I said, you could customize your guy later, but it shouldn't be too much of a concern right now. Because I'll tell you what, you're going to want to save some money. So I'll tell you why you want to save some money. The problem is when it gets nighttime in this game, you're going to need that night vision and that night vision is crucial because you won't be able to see a thing and you're going to have a miserable time playing in the dark. So if you want to go back to the inventory, just go back to this armory here. I'll teach you how to equip your night vision goggles once you do have it. So you're going to have to go to mount here and you're going to see night vision goggles here. Now, of course, there are certain ones that cost more than others and then there's also a game pass one save up for this one here thousand dollars 338 this is the one with zero stars you'll see the requirement at the bottom and once you purchase it it's going to show equip and you can have all other accessories here but like i said focus on the m 4 one you might want to get yourself a scope if you'd like now me personally i like shooting in third person that's just a personal choice of mine when it comes to gameplay and footage you will see that there's yellow dots here right or little diamonds i should say rather now you have your mag, which you could extend for more ammo, but keep in mind, it will make you weigh a little more. So that means you're going to be slower. You have your stock, got your sights at the top. Then you also have your barrels, your handguard, which you could add like lasers on. And then you could also add suppressors on your muzzle side. I would recommend only grabbing a reflex sight or just a sight in general under optics here, which you could uh, easily look for. And pretty much the reflex sight 
let's just say I want to buy the reflex site, purchase, equip. So once we equip the reflex site or whatever site you desire, that is good for now. You want to head out back into the depot and start spawning in the forward operating base. Now, like I said, be careful when it's becoming nighttime. It's going to be a very hard time for you to navigate. You have over here your vitamins, dressings, and also bandages, which you could use to heal. And then you also have your torch. I'll pick one up. And then you have a flare grenade or smoke grenade. And then you also have your grenade here. And this is where you go to refill on ammo. Let's just say, for example, shot up some bullets. You reloaded and you need some ammo. Take it ammo with f pretty self-explanatory now this is where it gets interesting to your right you're going to have your aircrafts and to your left side is where you're going to get the uh, vehicles the vehicles is what you're going to need to go towards because you don't got no money for an aircraft or even enough stars now i know these other vehicles look very tempting but like i said you're not going to have enough stars or even money to purchase it so you're going to go with the jeep and you can choose whatever you'd like if you wanted to have a desert camo snow theme or force then choose whatever you'd like, review order, pay 100, and request. Every time you want to spawn in a vehicle, this is where you go. Also, you can repair your vehicles here or remove it. So, for example, if this does get damaged, in which it will, when I go to a compound, once you go back to the compound, which, I mean, once you go back to the base and you go back to this request vehicle, it's going to tell you to repair it and you can pay them whatever amount. But anyways, we're going to spawn that in. We're going to get inside the driver vehicle and then we're going to be going to our first location. Now to acquire stars and to acquire XP that comes with killing AI and also doing objectives. And I'll be showing you how to do those in a second. But first we'll be taking on a compound. Then I'll be showing you guys a quest and that's how you accumulate cash and experience. Now for example your first star is going to come out 10,000 XP. Once you achieve 10,000 XP, you'll get granted your first star. Then once you achieve 20,000 XP, you'll be granted your second star and so on. It goes up to five stars. And pretty much when you have five stars, you essentially beat the game. And that's when you could do various things, unlock various vehicles, aircrafts, and just have fun with it. And there's also PvP too. You want to be careful. Like I said, you could scope in, use first person if you like. I personally like third person. We're going to get some cover though. And we're going to start semi the first guy now ideally you want to aim for the head but body shots doesn't really matter either you just gotta remember to preserve your ammo keep in mind once you do take out a compound you will get resupplied with an airdrop and that's where you could uh, get more ammo and bandages where did this guy come from take him out you want to you don't want to just like rush the base you want to take your time with it because like i said there are multiple people and you could already tell that it's becoming nighttime but don't worry though if you do die you could always come back to the base and keep on grinding and they're just grouped up they just auto that if they're all grouped up like that i usually like semi it's become a habit of mine only for the fact I'm usually with a big group and we need to preserve ammo. And if you press tab, you look at the right side, you'll see 10,000 is required for the first star. I'm at 790 XP and then this is my cash, of course. So you can always see how much you're at. But you can tell how damn dark it is. You can't even see the vehicle, but unless the lights are on. So that's why I would always recommend saving up a bit of money for you to get that night vision goggles. Oh, well, I spooked him. This is where you'd maybe have to go automatic just so you don't get smoked now once you have enough money for your night vision goggles you're gonna go ahead and head over to loadout helmet edit mount and purchase whip and you have like i said you can press on the helmet and you'll see other things too that you can equip but that's what's mandatory you need that night vision goggles or you're gonna have a hard time playing this game you're gonna press n and there you have it you're gonna be able to see and when you press n you could take it off but see how much better it is with night vision goggles for example compared to not now i'm going to be showing you guys how to get to the lighthouse area and that is where you could start doing some quests now i want to make clear that most likely when you are starting out you're not going to be able to solo clear a facility you might be but it's going to be very very difficult for the average user 
and that's okay the whole point is for you to accumulate some cash and of course experience now you could just do what i was doing and just take a couple out you die reset get back to it and you just keep repeating that process now you could have some friends join you you could have some even action in pvp there's so many numerous ways for you to get cash and experience it's not just one method but if you'd like a video where I do show you guys different methods on getting cash and experience, let me know down below. One more guy behind the base. That's why you want to shoot from afar. You're going to see civilians and hostages in the game and you could rescue them. And if you don't kill them, you're going to get enabled to do certain quests. So for example, if I were to go over to someone like this person that shows the question mark, they might stay... You don't have enough reputation and you need to get higher reputation to do the quest so for example if i talk to isabel and i'll be like need help with anything i recently had delivery seized and destroyed by the rlf near the desert compound this is not something i'm going to let slide i need to ensure that those involved are dead accordingly and you accept it and this is how you do it finally neutralize the rlf located to the north of the desert compound so now, once you finish with the mission, of course, it's going to show at the top. Talk to another person. You gain the XP and cash at the top, as you see. Now, as you do more quests and such, you do unlock items along the way. So just like that, for the short amount of time playing, I've already accumulated 3,000, almost 4,000 XP. And then you have almost $3,000. That should set you guys up for beginning beer in 5. Now, of course, if you have any questions, let me know down below. But that'll wrap up the video. Hopefully this helps. If it did, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.